Mid-Hudson-News has learned that the house where 35-year-old Shannon Hubbard and her one-year-old daughter died in a fire that also injured her husband John and their three-year-old son was illegally operating as a short-term rental unit. In this case, the Hubbard family from Cape Cod, Massachusetts, rented the house from the owner through Airbnb. In the Dutchess County town of Clinton, where the fire occurred, 90 miles north of New York City, property owners who want to operate short-term rentals must get a permit from the town before renting the property out. No such permits existed for this house, owned by Westchester County psychotherapist Meredith Darcy. In the Airbnb listing that was removed following the deadly fire, Darcy claimed that the house had been recently remodeled. There are no building permit applications for any recent remodeling. Mid-Hudson News, assisted by Town of Clinton officials, obtained copies of all documents filed with the town's building and zoning departments for any work done at the house. Permit applications were on file for projects dating back years, including heating and air conditioning units to a new roof and solar panels, but no applications were filed for the remodeling or to operate a short-term rental. When an applicant seeks to operate the short-term rental, such as Airbnb, Clinton Town Law requires the zoning inspector to visit the home to check for installed safety devices, such as working carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. Because the rental was illegal, no inspections had been performed. Initial reports from the fire indicate that no working smoke detectors were present that night. The Dutchess County Fire Investigation Division was at the scene on October 13th to collect evidence to find the cause and origin of the blaze. Dutchess County Deputy Commissioner of Emergency Response, Sean Castano, told Mid-Hudson News that the investigation is ongoing and the Fire Investigation Division is continuing to work closely with the State Police and the Dutchess County District Attorney's Office. For Mid-Hudson News, this is Todd Bender.